This is Kinda Murdery Season 1, Ghost Towns of the Mojave Desert, presented by Criminal Content. You're rocketing down the 15 freeway between Vegas and L.A. It's a scorched wasteland of Airstream meth labs and unrelenting heat. This is no place you'd want to stop. But the car's on fumes, so you take the exit and you pull up to the gas station. It's abandoned. A concrete canvas that some local Michelangelo's turned into the Sistine Chapel of spray paint penis. A grave marker for every crazy story lost in the desert sands. These are the ghost towns of the Mojave Desert. And this is Kinda Murdery. Hey everybody, and welcome to Kinda Murdery Season 1, Ghost Towns of the Mojave Desert. I'm your host, Zevin Odelberg. Thanks for deciding to be here. Aaron, you know, it seems like you've made a career out of visiting some of the most murdery places in the world and doing some pretty murdery stuff. So uh, can you tell me about, uh, can you tell us about one of your, your favorite times that something really bizarre and strange happened? Well, I don't want to be accused of doing murdery stuff. I don't, I don't no, know. No, I fair want enough. That. No, I don't know if I she want. She wants that. straight, <laughs> just straight just murdery, kind of murdery stuff. Just no, murder. just overtly murdery. She doesn't <laughs> yes. want that. That she doesn't want that little asterisk. Um, mm. Choosing a favorite is tough. I've certainly, like you said, I've I've certainly gone to some of the most murdery places on purpose. We stayed another night um, in the Suicide Woods, which is the Akihabara oh my God. forest in Japan. Oh wow! I remember. Oh, it's it's. <laughs> It's located at the base of Mount Fuji. So you stayed in the suicide woods. What was that like? Oh my, you are made of stronger stuff. I, I, I get scared like walking to the bathroom in the dark at night. Um, so yeah, what was that like? You compared me swimming with sharks uh, with your, your wife's cold leg on you at night. That's, that's how I feel. <laughs> well, that, that shows you about how brave I am. Like you can handle sharks. She puts a cold foot on me and I'm oh Christ, what is that? <laughs> Uh, so, but, but the suicide woods, that's not kind of murdery. It's kind of suicide y. Right. And, 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 and very sad. I mean, those oh, it's are, so, so devastatingly it, sad that yes. it's become. Because in Japan, suicide is still a very honorable way to get out of a lot of things, um, uh, you know, debt, cheating on your yeah. wife, um, you know, losing your job. Aren't a lot of them it's, it's like kids who don't get a high enough test score to get into the college that their family expects or something like that? I mean, oh man, yeah, no, it's, it's really it's bummer. The stories are really sad. And because when you go in, um, because it's at the base of, um, of Mount Fuji, uh, the volcanic area there, it's kind of made this really dense moss and these really dense trees. It gets really dark really quickly. And people use this string um, this colored string to decide if they want to get back out because once you go in off the trails it's very easy to get lost and mm, so God. when you, you when you're there and you, it's the end of the month when a lot of the unfortunately the bodies have 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 been left they um you can see all of this colored string all around you oh my god oh. so it's like pericles in the labyrinth is it like hiking mount everest no no it's um it's very very different like the the, the moss is like knee deep like there's some areas where you're just walking in this dense moss it's very flat at that point you're not actually on the the, the mountain you're in these really big i just meant like areas. you know how there's the dead bodies in mount everest they're like check marks oh yeah no at the end of the month they have a suicide squad that goes in and takes all the bodies out so oh my god and how much what's your what's the average like suicide do you know how many people every month kill themselves on average i unfortunately i don't i don't know the numbers there's big signs everywhere that say please turn back you know your life is worth it call these numbers you know they do what they can to kind of dissuade people from from doing it but i at one point on that trip um my my boot got stuck in one of these kind of little holes and i pulled it out and i'd found someone's personal belongings that they had kind of cut up and oh my god Whoa. their driver's license and some oh. letters and family photos and stuff Oof. with 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 the string this is like a, a cross between the minotaur story and hansel and gretel except that it's just made me like 
tremendously sad. So thanks for that. Um, yeah, I'm a man. big downer at parties. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you're like someone asks you to give a toast at your wedding, at, the, at their wedding, and you're just like, so that time I was in the suicide woods in Japan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Is but I pick a, him back up with the time I fell off the Great Wall of China. Let's do that. But hey, I, yeah, I do have please. one more question for you about the uh, suicide woods, which is, is there a reason why it's these woods? Is there like a folklore or other reason why people There's go a here? Book. There is a book about um, star-crossed lovers, uh, kind of a Romeo and Juliet in Japan. Like an these, ancient these, tale of folk, like a folklore it, tale. Not even that ancient. Um, I, I don't want to get the year of the book wrong, but it's it's really not that old. But about, you know, basically lovers that, that could not be together. And so they went there to commit suicide because of their love for one another. And is it new enough sparked. that the author could still be alive? Is it that new? Because what, mm, oh my God, can you imagine no. being that person? Hmm. No, but it, I think it's also based on a you know a, it, this place is very very unique. It's very different. Like the vibe there is very dark and strange. Like I think they believe that the energy there in and of itself maybe draws people in. So it sounds like you're just insanely brave. I mean, with the swimming with sharks, the su- did you spend the night in the suicide woods too, or or, or no? Yes. What the fuck? Yes. You're nuts. Oh um, my gosh. But and then uh, uh, no, call- thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Wow. I need a palate cleanser. This was Japan, but then you were in China and you fell off the Great Wall. Like, a, like you told us you were a klutz earlier, but boy, you actually travel all the way around the world to go be a klutz. So tell us yeah. about that. No, it just, it, just, it just follows me. So yes, yeah, so we were investigating <laughs> the Great Wall of China. There's this old section of the wall that's not fixed up. It's called the, the I'm going to get the name wrong, but Jianku section of the wall. And we actually had to rappel down it. And so um, I get all outfitted in, in my gear to, to abseil, and I'm you know kind of crested on, on the Abseil? Edge. What's abseiling? I'm sorry. I, it's, I don't it's, a, it's another word for rappelling. It's, okay. Uh, yeah. And so... It's just uh, when you I, want to draw attention to how toned and awesome your rock climbing <laughs> body is. You don't call it rappelling. You're like, oh, I'm about to fucking abseil, bitches. Look at this washboard. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. Continue, please. Yeah, so my six pack is out, and I'm just perched over the edge of the. Your six pack of Schlitz, right? It's, it's ham, Ham's beer, just just cracking them and chugging them, and that's why you fell off. Or no, I'm sorry. please tell your story. I'm sorry. No, and, and um, I'm over the edge, and if if you know with your rappelling, eventually you kind of have to just put all of your weight back. And when I did that, this little carpet that they had put on the 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 edge of the wall to to make it so that the the crumbling section doesn't fall on you as you're as you're going down it slipped and i flipped completely upside down and i started falling um because that's not how the you know the 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 harness works so i had to kind of manipulate my body throw myself against the wall to to stop falling wow wow Wow. fucking tomb raider shit right there (laughs) That's amazing. Are you now? Are you sure you weren't at a corporate retreat there, though? Because that just kind of sounds like the worst <laughs> trust fall ever to me. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a your coworkers fall. really let you down. That's incredible. That's so. So, did you get injured, or did you just bounce up like a super ball and just go right back, or scamper yeah, right no, back up the wall? I did not get in, injured. I did. I on the way down, I was kind of like, "Mommy!" Like I, you know, when you like, you, know, you think you're yeah. really tough, and you're like, "Mom!" I love yes. You. Wow. Yes. Well, that's our show for uh, Adam Volrich, Sean Christensen from Criminal Content, and the incredible Aaron Ryder. I'm Zevin Odelberg, and this has been Kinda Murdery. This is Kinda Murdery, Ghost Towns of the Mojave Desert, presented by Criminal Content. You can find us online at kindamurdery.com and on all social media at kindamurdery. Email us at contact at kindamurdery.com. Listen to us on all your favorite podcasting apps. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Overcast, Google, and more. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and tell your friends about the show. 